Last week, my Acolyte review was demonetized because I put in a joke where I pretended to say the word see you next Tuesday, but I actually cut it off. YouTube were just like, no, that's too close to the bone, sir. You shall not be monetized. Okay, fair enough. We won't do any of those jokes this week, I promise. However, we will watch a program that's full of them. Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Yes, it's time to jump once again, two-footed, studs up, into an episode of The Acolyte, where we left off last week. Osha had been shoom, flown halfway across the forest by Smilo Ren, and he was just about to engage a bunch of Jedi very easily, so expect lots of glow sticks and dead people. Huzzahs! So it starts off with Osha waking up. One can only imagine that she was unconscious after being force yeeted into the forest and probably plowed into a tree. So if that was the case that the force that she was thrown, there's a very good chance that she'd actually be dead with a snap neck or something. This is a woman, of course, that has survived a spaceship plummeting from space into a planet. So it's going to be super easy, barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? She then stumbles and trips and lands right by this dead Jedi here who's wearing a metaphorical red shirt. It looks like he's been complete and utterly dispatched by Smiler. Wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, breaking news. No, this Jedi actually died of embarrassment for being in the Acolyte. Oh, I'm only kidding. I don't know if it's a he because I never asked them their preferred pronouns. There's a lightsaber battle going on between trees. I can only legitimately guess that they did this because they want to disguise the choreography. But I'm thinking to myself, why would you want to disguise the choreography? This is one of those moments where you want it to be out and bang and oh my goodness me, look how the Sith is tearing through these in shit jedi and then i realized they probably don't have the budget after all this show only cost 180 million dollars for eight episodes and who can do anything with that kind of money <laughs> it, it, it's a money laundering scam Alleg allegedly, in my opinion, allegedly. Oh, I guess that wasn't Plo Koon then. I mean, they all look the same to me. Okay, moving on very quickly. <laughs> Smilo Ren punches this lovely lady's lightsaber. I I'll say that again. Smilo Ren punches this lovely lady's lightsaber. He then headbutts the other Jedi's lightsaber. Again, I'll repeat myself. Headbutts the other Jedi's lightsaber, and they both stop working and need some new Duracell batteries to get them to reignite again. Now, I understand that as you get older, you might need some assistance to, you know, uh, kickstart the process, but, uh... Wait a minute, this has got, this has got nothing to do with anything, has it? He then impales a Jedi and force pulls another one onto the lightsaber that's impaling the Jedi. And all I can imagine in my head is there should be a laughter track to this fight. For some reason, none of the Jedi want to use their force powers. They are literally just running onto the lightsaber for shits and giggles. Brown Boy Summer got a cut on the leg and he's acting as if he's had it amputated. You can use your force powers to try and push him back to stop him from going... Why aren't the Jedi actually fighting? Why are they so stupid? By the way, in the background, if you've heard a couple of dings going on, it's because I'm so bored already that I've decided to join a live auction and bid for some stuff, but I lost it. So I've, I better carry on with this review, I guess. Yes, I'm about 30 seconds into the episode. <laughs> May fires a stun gun at Smilo Ren to protect Brown Boy Summer, and of course, it does absolutely nothing to them. So he tells Osha to run, and she does. It cuts to May inside the Wookiee's hut, and she picks up his lightsaber. Then it cuts back to Osha, who's running in the woods. Away from the Sith person who's following her, hears some twigs rustling, so decides to stop, get her torch out, and see what's going on. 
there is a huge problem with this show. Number one, the whole lightsaber fight was disguised by the woods, which made it very clunky and didn't show off any of the stunt people's choreography at all. It felt like it was trying to disguise it and the Jedi were was stupid. They didn't use their force powers. They seemed to do nothing to defend themselves and just walk onto this guy's bloody lightsaber. Secondly, and more importantly, none of the characters are likable. None of them. So why do we care? Why do I care that Osha is being chased? Why do I care about me? Why do I care that Master Squid Game hasn't even appeared yet? Where is he? I guess he's read the script and the script told him, you're not ready to come into the show yet. The guy's got to take out all the fucking red shirt Jedis first. There are no stakes here. There's no investment whatsoever. I'm watching this dull blank and just to compound osha's stupidity yes the noise turned out to be smilo ren because he was chasing you you dumb cow so smilo ren throws his lightsaber towards osha to cut her down and you're like oh my god i know exactly what's gonna happen here because it's so fucking contrived master squid game is going to appear out of absolutely no nowhere and deflect the lightsaber away and you'll never guess what happened folks master squid game appears out of absolutely nowhere and deflects the lightsaber away because he read the script and the script told him exactly where osha was going to randomly run to in the forest so he could protect her Ugh. Then brown boy Summer that couldn't move before because his leg was cut badly is walking absolutely fine and turns up from the opposite direction. How can he turn up from that direction? She was running from that direction, the direction that you were in, but now you've come from this direction, meaning that you've looped all the way round. How? <laughs> make it make sense. The echo shite. Also, I'm going to predict now that when Brown Boy Summer takes Osha to the ship so that Master Squid Game can die to Smilo Ren, the Padawan, who has also not appeared in the episode so far to be cannon fodder, will somehow just be on that ship. Let's see if I'm right. Well, fuck my ass, mouth and tits. I was wrong. The Padawan has now engaged May in combat while Smilo Ren and Master Squid Game slap their glow sticks together, if you know what I mean. Of course, there's a lot of cheating in there. A lot of they fight. He doesn't follow the rules of combat. His movements don't make sense. Well, we saw, and no, that's not correct at all. He was using his force abilities. You were just wiggling your glow sticks, thinking that was enough. Running onto his red lightsaber like a bunch of morons. That's what was going on. Nothing stressed that he was in any way, shape, or form doing anything overt. You were just terrible. So if you're trying to insinuate that he's getting into the heads and predicting what you're doing because he's reading your minds, then it failed miserably in the show to in any way, shape or form, show that, hint at that, or intimate at that. Yearbook Wonder, most likely to succeed as a Jedi, manages to subdue May eventually, but then Smilo Ren appears out of nowhere to engage her in combat because he's just bouncing between Jedi right now. I guess Master Squid Game was on a fat cigarette break. They fight. Now, the fight between the Padawan and Smilo Ren isn't bad, actually. I think the choreography in this is fine. It's amazing what happens when you give a little bit more of an open space and allow them to actually be creative with their movements. However, what I don't understand is how can you easily dispatch Jedi? Because apparently you're getting into their minds, reading what they're going to be able to do and combating that. But when you go up against a Padawan, you don't do that in single combat. And she's fighting back just as hard just as fast as you are you're making her appear to be the master and all the other jedi to be the well never mind padawans younglings they look inept comparative to her you've elevated her so high that you've made everyone else just look useless make it consistent she should be dispatched the only thing that's keeping her alive right now is plot armor and for me that's just immersion breaking and once again feels like the show is trying to hold out until master squid game can come back in to re-engage smilo ren so this character can get away and live oh no 
It's even worse than that. Smiler Ren just disappeared into thin air instead. <laughs> I, I, I give up. I give up. So do you remember last week when there were those huge insect creatures on the tree and then one of them was alerted by Osha and then attacked Master Squid Game with the lightsaber because they're attracted to light? At least that I think we're giving them the benefit of the doubt to. Yord, aka Brown Boy Summer, has totally forgot what happened just a couple of moments ago and they get back to that area and Osha has to tell him to turn off his light lightsaber because they're attracted to light and he says who and she's like oh for fuck's sake are you all retarded and brown boy summer says yes that is literally my role in the show to be a complete useless male that gets told what to do by females at every given opportunity because the force is hashtag female and all men are useless and inept and there won't be a scrap of masculinity anywhere at any point in time as long as Disney hold this fucking franchise. At least that's what I read into it. Yeah, uh, glow sticks. So May, who's handcuffed and running through the forest, being pursued by Smilo Ren, who vanished out of absolutely nowhere while fighting uh, Padawan of the Year 2024, is just about to kill May after May begs for forgiveness for a face turn last week out of nowhere, who now wants to go back to being a heel. He then cuts off her handcuffs so she's free. So he's going to then kill her with his lightsaber so why did you get the handcuff whatever and before he can do that master squid game who clearly phoned up padawan of the year 2024 on her cell phone and said meet me at plot has suddenly just appeared with the padawan to stop him from doing that because they read the fucking script so Smilo Ren, who freed May from her handcuffs so that he could kill her, is now being attacked by a Padawan and a Jedi Master, which, by the way, they are holding their own in that fight, even though he just cut through a bunch of trained Jedi-like tissue paper earlier, and yet still is trying to pursue May to kill her when he could have just killed her and not released her from her fucking handcuffs! This is so stupid. The best armor in this show, plot armor. Never mind best car. Never mind bloody head butting lightsabers and defusing them armor. Plot armor. It's absolutely indestructible. So May uses the force to reach into Osha's mind to call for her. And Osha says to Brown Boy Summer, stop. We have to go back. And he's like, why? And she says, because he's going to kill them. He's going to kill them all. Bitch. That's what he's been doing the whole fucking show! You witnessed it at the beginning of the bloody episode! You didn't need the force in your head to tell you that, Captain Obvious! I want, I want all, every one of these bloody window lickers to get by Smilo Ren. So it cuts back to the fight between Padawan of the Year 2024 and Master Squid Game. And Smilo Ren uses his armor to defuse the lightsaber. I don't know what that armor is called, but if it, I, I don't care if it's a new thing that's come in, an extended universe thing. It's stupid. Why don't you just deck yourself out head to toe in the damn thing? Nobody could hit you with a fucking lightsaber anymore. Anyway, so this guy who's fucking headbutting lightsabers like it's going out of fashion to stop them from working for a few moments, has his helmet destroyed by the Padawan of the Year's hilt of the lightsaber going bang, bang, and it just smashes off. Make it make sense. Then he kills her because her plot armor, unfortunately, ran out. And Smilo Ren is revealed to be Discount Asian Ezra Miller. The person that it was so obvious, we were trying to come up with reasons for it not to be him. So obvious because of the way that he easily handled May back in that other city when she tried to creep up on him. Easy because he's the only 
fucking person here on the planet so who else could it be so we were desperately thinking of reasons that it couldn't be this guy because it's so obvious they keep referring to the sith as a he you know disney that means it's got to be a woman surely it can't be him because they're the only fucking people on the planet no it has to be an extra person that's been inserted that we have no the most obvious person was actually the obvious person i i thought this was meant to be a mystery a murder of mystery but there's no mystery there hasn't been any mystery the only mystery is how the fuck did this cost 180 million so smilo ren discount asian Ezra Miller, throws his robe onto master squid game like a fucking gag from the naked gun <laughs> It is so, so stupid. Then he tries to use May as leverage by holding a hostage with a lightsaber to a head to prevent Master Squid Game from attacking. But why would Master Squid Game not attack? He doesn't know that May is now just suddenly out of nowhere a good guy. He doesn't know that at all. She's still the enemy. This isn't an enemy of my enemy is my friend moment. This is the enemy and my own other enemy are having a tiff fucking kill each other moment what are you i am what you would call a sith what do you want i just want to use power the way that i want to use like power and stuff and not like the way that the like jedi want me to like use power and things <sighs> so Yord comes in, aka Brown Boy Summer, to defend Master Squid Game from words, because of course, words are violence nowadays, and Smilo Ren just breaks his fucking neck. And I'm like, I am okay with this. I am very okay with this. The guy was absolutely useless from start to finish. I'm glad he's dead. Probably not the reaction that they were going for, but definitely the reaction they're going to get. So Master Squid Game now re-engages Smilo Ren in combat without his lightsaber because he threw it away earlier. Why? Don't know. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but neither does the show. So why should I even attempt to bother? Master Squid Game defeats Smilo Ren in hand-to-hand -hand combat, picks up his lightsaber, is about to kill him, and Osha tells him to stop. It doesn't matter how many lightsabers you headbutt. The strongest armor in this show is plot armor by a country mile. Do you trust this man, Osha, after what he did to you? Oh my goodness me. Shush, Osha. His mind's twisted by darkness. I've accepted my darkness. Have you accepted your... Nobody cares! Nobody cares. Even when it's revealed what the Jedi did to the lesbians, communist space witches, nobody is going to care because not a single solitary person in this show is worth caring about. You haven't given us any reason to at all. They have simply existed to serve plot. There's been no actual development of character and why we should like them, why we should root for them, why we should be involved with them. Nobody cares. Osha, who incapacitated May with a stun gun, which she could have done two episodes ago, but that I guess, sticks the head of a pit droid on the back of Smilo Ren so it lights up and then all the insects come in and pick him up and take him to heaven. He'll be fine. He's got to come back for plot later. So yes, Osha stopped Master Squid Game from killing Smilo Ren so that they could say a couple more lines so that Osha could then put the light on the back of Smilo Ren for the insects to come in and apparently kill him. Make it! Make sense! What the fuck is going on? 
Alexa May recovers from her stun to pick up the stun gun, which Osha apparently, after using the stun gun on her, placed it down on the ground next to her so that when she came round, she could use it on Master Squid Game, which she does to incapacitate Master Squid Game so Master Squid Game can't dump exposition and say what really happened at the Coven of Communist Lesbian Space Witches because this show is so fucking terribly written and contrived that it doesn't know what to do with itself. May then throws the stun gun on the ground as Osha is approaching. I don't know. Whose turn is it to use it now? Or is Master Squid Game gonna pick it up next and fucking stun somebody? Who knows? Stay tuned, folks, for this fucking masterpiece. So May and Osha start to argue, and the only way I can then sum this up is... They fight. May incapacitates Osha and then uses a lightsaber, think it's Yord's. He don't need it, he fucking did. To cut her hair. So now they're gonna do a switcheroo. She's going to pretend to be Osha, and everyone else is going to continue to be fucking retarded. Hey, thank goodness that they kept the same hairstyles for 16 years, huh? Otherwise, this plot wouldn't have been able to plot. But thankfully, this plot was able to plot because they plotted. Phew! Smilo Ren is absolutely fine. He lands and walks off. Basil's fine. He picks up the part of the pit boy robot shit, uh, which is ultimately probably going to give Osha as w away as May. I mean, May acting as Osha, but you know what I mean. Master Squid Game is dumb as fuck and doesn't realize that this is May and not Osha, but everyone is stupid in this show, so we can't expect anything else now. And I still don't give a shit about anyone. However, my favorite part of this is where they just leave all the bodies of the Jedi and don't bother taking them back home again. I particularly like that. I found it to be really heartfelt. Out. Mm. Just let them rot in the forest. Just let them rot. Hey, yeah? Let them rot. Let them rot in the forest. Yeah? Yeah. And I thought I was being semi funny there, but they ended up just going back to the ship. So unless they're going to call for backup and remain on the planet, okay ish but then again if the next scene we see them is in space flight or coruscant or something holy fuck you're heartless also are we just now pretending that may doesn't have a big fucking squiggle on her forehead are we just gonna pretend that that doesn't exist so smilo ren goes back to where the fight occurred so that he can pick up his helmet and cloak because i guess he really liked those and then he goes past the dead bodies which are left there to rot for the animals to eat and then comes across Osha. Now, I'm imagining that he realizes that this is Osha and not May because if he thinks this is May, then this would make no sense whatsoever considering he's been trying to kill her old fucking episode. He places his cloak over her and is he thinking, well, I guess you're my acolyte now because acolyte... Jesus. Absolutely horrendous stuff. The writers have no idea what they're doing. This is so contrived. This has to operate off the notion that everybody is stupid. Never mind everybody in the show being stupid. Everyone watching it is fucking stupid as well. I will see you next week for episode six. How are there three episodes left? Jeez. Until then, you take care. Bye for now.